demonstration of the pencil test. You put the pencil against your shin bone and Amelia, point your foot. Good. Like that. So, as you can see, her toe is coming off from the pencil. That's ideal. This is kind of minimum you want to have for the point walk. If that goes less and you start seeing space between the pencil and the foot, uh, your point walk will be really challenging. This month, I'd like to talk to you about beginners and point shoes, or am I ready to go on point? And with me today, I have my friend and colleague, Tamiko Magari. Uh, there was something so interesting. I was watching you with the young students and how you were making them sort of uh, manipulate their toes. Yeah. Right, and it, you called it crunch toes or crunchy toes. Right, when you stand on the floor, and they actually, surprisingly, many children, and sometimes often adults, stand like this with your toe. I will demonstrate later to show you what it is. And then trying to go up on the half point with that toe, mm -hmm. and which as you can see, it's gonna, even with my hand, it really strain this muscle. So on this. Yes. Right. right, so it's gonna be, here you go. See, these toes crunched. Right, so, oh, like so that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as you can see, it's going to push up your metatorso. It's not placed comfortably. So you want to have that long and comfortably kind of, you know, trailing down. So, when I say crunchy toes, often they bend this like, like that way and pushing down onto the top pad, padding of the toe like this. And then this is really difficult. To trying to bend this joint, which is going up to the half point. Oh, so that really sort of uh, yeah stops the ankle from being able exactly, to be mobile. Exactly, because usually you want to kind of go up on this way, okay? But if you are pushing and curling and crunching so hard because you are trying to get up on the half point so hard and this toe is going like this, and then you try to bend on top of that, you can see even with that. Sure, yeah, there's no yeah. way. Yeah. So you want the metatarsals very long, long and long stretched. And so when the tondu goes, right. it goes like that. So uh, here's a, as a demonstration on the bare foot. So when you go to the half point on the tondu, and point, and half point, and and half point, and point, and half point, and in that should be just as same as it goes up to the half point, and point, and half point, and down on the point shoes. Half point, and point, and half point, and down. Here is a tondu, half point, and point and half point and down. Here's a little look at half point and point, half point and down. So if you have a crunchy toe, I really don't think you can get up onto the point shoes. This is where the shoe fitters often have a problem to fit these children if they don't they haven't executed clicked tondus. Right, right, so it's gonna be here you go. See these toes crunched. Right, so oh, like so, that. Mm -hmm. so uh, as you can see, it's gonna push up your metatorso. It's not placed comfortably. So you want to have that long and comfortably kind of, you know. Trailing mm -hmm. down. Yes, there is an arch here and there is an arch here, but you don't want to push that up this way. And on top of that, you try to bend it this way. Just uh, so some teachers might refer to that as curling your toes. Exactly. Right. We say crunchy toes, but it may also be the same thing as curling the toes. 
the, the reason I say I think is that because they are trying to work so hard and gripping the floor like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So curling may be the more natural way of naturally born that way, you may have to stretch it a little right. bit. Right, so it's lengthened through the right. metatarsis. But some kids are really trying to hang on to your life, it's <laughs> standing on the half point like this, and uh, it's it's opposite. Yeah. The, the back side of the muscle, I will show it to you with a demonstrator later, has to open. Okay. These muscles need to be longer. If this is short, you can't quite go up to the half point. Right, right. Point. You need that articulation. Yeah. Okay. That's really interesting. Uh, the next one is the demonstration of being able to stand on half point with a completely stretched back of the knee. Right. Easy to say. <laughs> <laughs> Not so easy to do. Uh, especially the hyper extended or hyper mobile, mm -hmm. you want to be correct, I guess, leg or knee. Uh huh. Right. Um, I see many students, or the adult actually, they may be able to stand really nicely on the floor, mm -hmm. but when you try to go up in half point, then half point is about, it's not completely a so-called like a quarter point. Oh, oh, right, so they're right. not all the way up to their right. full extension. Because your knee's pushing back. Oh, okay. So it's easy to say to stretch your leg on the full half point, but it's actually really difficult to execute and I have seen many trouble, especially with the people with a big arch. Okay. Yeah. And also maybe they're not pulling up enough through the front exactly. of their quadriceps too. Exactly. And okay. the pelvis. Yeah. The pelvis often if often these hyperextended leg comes with the pelvis tilted forward. Oh, right. And then when, yeah, when they try to go up, they actually sink down on the knee, sink down on the pelvis, and uh, you, you are trying to stretch your leg. Right. And but I, not necessarily the... Uh, right. You want that straight up yes. and down, up through the front of the hip. So it's, again, easy to say, uh, hard to understand and execute, I think. Mm -hmm. So we'll show a demonstration. Uh, yes, it's Amelia. Uh, my student at the school at the steps. Let's try it. Plie, forced arch, forward, arch really pointed, good, and standing up. Then high half point to wall, good, five to stand, good. Plie, pelvis straight up, good. Forced arch, pelvis so straight up, and standing up front of the pelvis, still straight up. Fully high arm pointed arch, the foot joint, back arch lifted, and goes to the half point, two wall, one time, pelvis, here, forced arch, back of the foot lifted. Front of the joint open, pelvis straight up, and stretch your leg. It's fully stretched, leg. And go to the high half point and wall. Five toes, good. And feel, pull it up. And feel, and up. Feel, and
pie, post-arch, good, fully planted, stretch toes, and the stand. Pencil test, good, okay, and wall. pie, post-arch, and stand. And you go slow more the half foot, high half foot, that one, and more. Yeah, five to She just got up on point two weeks ago. So this is about four scraps or something. And plie, and roll it up. Plie, and today for Amelia and Tomiko. Thank you so much for coming in and helping me out today. I thought the demonstrations were terrific. I think everybody's going to learn a lot. And I also wanted to say thank you to the School at Steps and Kate Thomas, the director. Thank you. As always, click if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below.